We're here in downtown Stratton with Chef Sandy at the White Wolf Inn. Uh, now, Sandy, you're le the legendary uh, Wolf Burger, that everyone knows about that. Yeah. But there's other things that, that make you different. Some people think of it like coming to their aunt's house for dinner. Are these are these really like family recipes? Yeah, they are. Some of the recipes are my grandmother's, my great-grandmother's. Um, when I make cannolis, that's my great-great-great-grandfather's recipe. Uh, my cousins in Philadelphia still own a bakery, a Scrooge Bakery in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. uh, with his recipe that they're still making. But mm -hmm. I'm making it by hand, and now it's mechanized. So, I mean, for them. Yeah. Yeah, but I do it all by hand. So th there's some different dishes that, that you won't find on Mountain and prices that you won't find on Mountain. What are some I, of the I, items that are truly unique here that you, you're just not going to find there? Well, a lot of them because I don't cook from a freezer. I cook from what's in my garden. I cook from what's local. I have people that bring me, you know, squash and our, our squash. People die for our squash mm. um, because it's a combination of different squashes that they grow for me. Mm -hmm. I make uh, a stuffed zucchini. It's an eight ball zucchini. It's not a nice little long thing that everybody's used to. It's actually a ball and it grows as a ball and I stuff it. And uh, the actual seeds come from France that my daughter-in-law gave me a long time ago. So these are, you know, coming down the pike, you know, yeah. and save seeds. We just save seeds and all that kind of thing. Yeah. I do all kinds of things that you're not going to find on anybody else's menu, like venison burgers, buffalo burgers. I do smoke quail because I smoke the quail and I smoke trout. I have those on my menu. Um, let's see, on the menu right now, it's maple bacon, but the maple bacon, it's a farm-raised bacon that I get from a guy called the Bacon Man, and I actually maple it. How can you I, go wrong with the Bacon Man? <laughs> never. I mean, I don't even know what his real name is, sure. but that's what he calls himself. Yeah. And that's, I mean, he raises the animals, and he slaughters them, and he smokes the bacon. And it's so awesome. true farm to table. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 70% uh, of my menu is farm to table. Mm -hmm. It's what we are making here. Even when you look at our appetizers, the mac and cheese bacon balls, we're making them from scratch. Mm -hmm. It's not something I'm buying and then frying up and saying I made it. I actually made it. All of my desserts I make from scratch, except for the pecan pie. Okay. That's the only one I don't make. Truth but be told. Truth be told. Yeah. Uh, right now I've got Indian pudding um, on the menu because I learned that recipe when I was in college, uh, Pennsylvania Dutch country, from the Amish. And that recipe was a colonial recipe, they told me. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't changed, and I haven't changed it. So you can taste the tradition. Yes, you can, yeah. all the way through the generations. Yeah. Yep. So uh, tell us when people, do they need to make reservations to come here? It's highly advised because we're small mm. and we're a small staff. Uh, we like to give good service, so we like to take care of our customers, mm -hmm. which is part of it. Um, a couple of weeks ago when we were in the middle of hunting season, we had a crunch and some people came and they were like, um, well, it's going to be an hour wait. Well, they came back in an hour and then they were so glad they did and they really loved it that they came back every single night they were here for eight nights <laughs> and they made a reservation for every single night yeah, right. so that they would have their table so it, it, it's worth waiting for it's absolutely worth waiting for yes so you could taste some different family it's like eating at your aunt's house as, uh, as we have heard and it smells like fresh bread grandmother <laughs> Sounds, yeah. yeah, I've heard people say that. It smells, it's, it tastes like my grandmother made this. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, this reminds me of home and, you know, family dinners and things like that. Our Thanksgiving dinner, uh, that was the major comment. It's like, this is just like I remember having at my grandmother's house. That's it, just, you know, the gravy's just like this. The stuffing is just like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I must say that I, I've seen you smoke quail <laughs> and, and, and trout. And, yeah. and I tasted the squash soup, yep. and it's delicious. Yes, and I make a lot of soups. Yeah. I really do. And the squash is one of the big ones. Um, you know, there's, I make a whole bunch of different things, and it's it's probably ever changing. Yeah. It's not always. It, uh, you might come for eight days, and you still might not find the exact same things on the menu that you had, you know, two days ago or even a day ago. I, food I don't with, like getting bored. <laughs> food with inspiration. Yes and traditional taste 
and uh, more like home cooking. Yes, it is. Very well, much so. Chef Sandy, people can come in, the White Wolf Inn. Now, you also have rooms here. Yes, we do. Yeah. Um, and our prices are off-mountain prices. Private rooms, bath, shower, cable TV. Mm -hmm. uh, you're right across the street from the grocery store. You've got all your amenities right here. Mm -hmm. And you're only 10 minutes from Sugarloaf. I mean, how much more could you want? You know, you don't have all the noise and bustle, but you got all the things you need to have a great time in the mountains. Escape today to Stratton, the White Wolf Inn. Thank you so much, Chef Cindy. Thank you. Thanks for coming.